You two clear a path while I try to find a way into Clovis Bray. We've encountered war mines before, but Ikora said Rasputin was trapped on Earth. Rasputin is capable of operating across multiple systems simultaneously. So all those times the Vanguard was trying to talk to him in the Cosmodrome. They were engaging fragments of Rasputin left behind after the collapse. But his core mind was always here. Here. I'm really here. I can't believe it. Clovis Bray. I'm home. The main access is encrypted. Good thing I know a few tricks. At least that seems to run in the family. Personnel identified Dr. Anastasia Bray. Welcome to the Clovis Bray Research Facility, the fabled cradle of invention on Mars. You are part of an important moment in history. Together, we will strive to reach beyond the stars. Remember, you are Clovis Bray. And we're in business. Looks like Rasputin's core is housed in a separate structure. Hope you're up for a little exploring. This facility is massive. The Braves dream big. I don't know much about my family, but I know that. Vulcan, Sleeper Simulant, Hades Flame, Aurora Knives. The weapons of the future are being developed by the Warmind Rasputin today. Would you like to know more? The goal of the Warmind project is to prepare our defenses for unseen threats. We are still learning to interface with Rasputin, but it's already in the process of helping to forge new weapons suited to protecting humanity. Communication with the Warmind has been a logistical concern from the project's inception. But the Hephaestus Index is a promising first step towards cooperation with our new commander and protector. 
This catalog of next generation weapons ranges from planetary cannons to small and mid-sized arms for use by ground infantry. There are currently over 150 projects in varying stages of research and development. By parsing data and performing calculations at a phenomenal rate, Rasputin is able to provide instruction in the form of math, the language of the universe. With Clovis Bray engineers and Rasputin working side by side, we can rest assured that our children will live in a prosperous, safe galaxy. picking up a lot of hive activity. They're swarming the core. On it. Let me try to access the security systems. From Mercury to the outer planets, Clovis Bray provides the most robust communication network in the system. Our Warsat network watches over us all. Would you like to know more? As humanity expanded to the far edges of the solar system, communication and logistics grew increasingly difficult along the outer planets. Pioneers of the outer frontier built makeshift transmission relays, but these were unreliable and prone to failure. The development of the Warmind program compelled a need for a unified circumstellar communication network. So Clovis Bray seized an opportunity to kill two birds with one exceedingly large stone. We built thousands of war satellites and deployed them throughout the system. These war sats link with the Warmind designated Rasputin and with each other forming an integrated defense and comms system. Each satellite is equipped with a state-of-the-art kinetic superconductor that shields it from Kessler debris and has an orbital life spanning hundreds of years. No matter what threats lie in store for us, rest assured that Rasputin and the Clovis Bray Warsats will never cease their vigilant watch over humanity. the status on the security systems. I'm working on it. Hang in there. problem. Come on, Rasputin. Give me something here. It's the Valkyrie. Rasputin's weapon. I think he hurt us.
door's unlocked. Did you? It wasn't me. Maybe he's inviting us inside. Maybe this is where questions finally turn into answers. Hello, Guardian. Oh, Shanks. What do you think you're doing? Do you have any idea how dangerous this thing is? What were you trying to do to Rasputin? Rasputin is Vanguard business, Anastasia, not yours. You do not belong here. I beg your pardon? You belong to the city. But instead of standing by your brothers and sisters when Gaul came for us, you were here doing what you always do, what you were never supposed to do. I did what I believed to be right. I came here to protect humanity. Isn't that what Guardians are supposed to do? This is a war of many fronts, and there's more than one way to fight it, Zavala. Look, you tried to shield the entire world, but you can't. There's got to be a better way. And do you think Rasputin is the answer? It's gone silent. It's a broken weapon. Too dangerous to be left alone and too unpredictable to wield. That might be true. Or maybe he has nothing to say. Maybe. Just maybe. We never bothered to ask him what he wanted. I don't have time to go through this with you again. You had no right. I have every right. You don't understand the connection I share with Rasputin. Here, let me show you. Okay. We should really figure out exactly what's doing that. I can tell you. Rasputin was not the only thing to awaken on Mars. Talk to me when you're ready. I thought we were done for. And then Rasputin. I didn't know if he would answer. I mean, I hoped he would, but you never know with him. That javelin, though? Wow. That's one hell of a confirmation. But the real problem is Zol. The Hive became what they are today by making dark packs with worm gods. Zol is one of those gods. I've been talking to Zavala, and he has an idea. Something that Zol won't be able to resist. Problem is, that something is in the EDZ and everyone wants it. <laughs> 